that. So, can you tell us about your experience and what brings you out to the Drew League? I just like it. You know, come out and watch. You know, I never played it actually, but I you know, like coming out and watch being a fan of the game. Um, what do you think about the environment so far? Uh, it's great. You know, basketball environment. Uh, you get a chance to see the fans close up. Uh, well, you know, you can see it. 300 section, far away, and those three sections. So it gets a so fan chat to see you know, their favorite player post up. Hey, can we expect you in a Drew League uniform, possibly? Uh, yeah, probably in a couple years. <laughs> in a couple <laughs> years. So what are you doing this offseason? How are you spending your uh, Just working out. Uh, enjoying my own season. Uh, you know, getting preparing for you know, the season ahead. So that's what I'm doing. What do you think about players that come play here and then, you know, how does that translate to the season? Do you think it helps their game at all, the competition here? Oh, I know question. Uh, it's great competition. You know, we got overseas. You know, players are playing the league, players are playing the league right now. You know, just to get a, like I said, the fans on the seat. You know, I think it's a great you know, environment. And how do you think that it's impacted this community? Oh, a lot. Uh, you know, this I think we're coming right now. Uh, you know, get you know, the kids on the street. Uh, come in and see you know, how you know, players got to this level and kids coming in going to college and high school and playing this level and getting prepared. So I think it's great. And what advice can you give to players um, trying to make it to the next level? I just keep working. Uh, you know, it's never over. I just keep working, come in, just get better every year. Uh, you know, just you know, try to put as much in your game by coming in and learning from you know, the And what are you working on? Uh, everything. Uh, you know, everything I could possibly work on. Ball handling, shooting, uh, basketball cue, learn how to do the team, get more ball. Uh, right now, I'm just, like I said, just preparing for the season ahead. And what can we expect you to do? Uh, come in, be you know, a leader of the team. Uh, that's pretty much it. Do you follow your game out? No, uh, most not, most definitely not. Uh, I'm trying to you know, stay, with, stay within myself, uh, all my ability, you know what I can do. And, you know, just I don't watch players and try to you know, take stuff from them that I can you know, add to my game. But I'm trying to run the game. And you know, I spotted you at a Nike UIBL tournament and now the Drew League. Is there something that you just is that how you spend your your spare time? I just love being around the game. You know, sometimes you gotta watch it uh, to learn so much planning. To learn. So I just like being you know, around and seeing the mistakes that I've made and can get better on. And is there a time that basketball has helped you play through a situation? Uh, all, the a tough situation? all the time. All the time. You know, basketball you know, for me is you know, the getaway. It's my, what I love to do. So just to get away from everything and just have a peace of mind, I think it's the you know, best ball, that's what it do for me. And can you describe the feeling that you get when you step on that court? Uh, I kind of get in a little zone. You know, I really you know, get in the zone that you know, I just want to be the best ball on the court. Well, what was the first time that you picked up a basketball? First time? Um, probably I was 10 years old. I, was, I started really a little late. <laughs> Most people pick it up with their head. And, you know, when did you know that you were going to go pro? Or that, that you were going to pursue a career in professional basketball? Uh, when I got to college, I actually didn't think that I was going to you know, go one and done. Uh, but, you know, I kept playing and playing with guys like John Wall and Marcus Cousins. I had my game on the when I was playing with those guys, and you know, Coach Cal gave me confidence. I thought I could do what I was done. And do you have any um, special relationships with some of these players off the court? Uh, I know Bobby a little bit. Uh, a couple players uh, that come here and play, kind of hang out a little bit. So yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, thanks for having me. All right.